Hello, welcome to FM TV. My name is Dr. Emmanuel. Uh, this TV is a good channel to listen to. to what, uh, please don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Don't forget to press red button by the corner of your TV. Thank you for watching FM TV. Uh, today I want to talk about South Africa. I want to talk about people that they like to come to South Africa. South Africa is a good country to be. South Africa is very, very good. Number one, if you want to come to South Africa to come at school, you are welcome. You are welcome. If you want to come to South Africa for holiday, you are welcome. South Africa is very so good place to be for holiday. There's a lot of places in South Africa that we can enjoy for holiday. Number two, if you want to come to South Africa for work, uh, my advice for you, think twice. Because for now, the country or the economy in South Africa for now is not stable before you decide that I want to come and stay in South Africa. Because I know a lot of people they are planning to come to South Africa, to come and stay in South Africa, to come and work in South Africa. I believe that some people they are even planning to relocate to South Africa. Please think twice before you take the step. Because in South Africa, for now, we have a lot of problems about job. There's no job at all in South Africa. There's no job at all in South Africa. Because the indigenous of South Africa, a lot of them too, they are crying. Walk. Good afternoon, Mobile. I understand that today you followed the youth as they went into Santon City Mall uh, along with Infanta Lux. What exactly is at the heart of this action that they took today? Well, Fundo, from what we know at this point is that the youth is saying that they have applied for jobs and they have qualifications for jobs, but at this point they are not finding jobs. I mean, we know that the country is already um, is experiencing high unemployment rates and of course young people at this point are the ones that they're finding themselves without jobs. So today we, we found ourselves in Santon City where Ntlatla Lux, of course, joined by the youth from our understanding mostly from Alexandra as well as Soweto. That's where they were uh, basically um, singing and also at the same time delivering their CV. They're saying that this is very important because they feel that at this point the employment ratio in terms of South Africans as well as foreigners um, is not exactly according to what it's supposed to be. They feel that South Africans are at the end where they're not receiving jobs because of um, the higher ratio of employment of foreigners. Of course, these are allegations of something that um, they will go on to understand further as they do more into their investigations, of course. And as we speak to the Department of Labor, we'll find out if that is the case, but we are still reaching out to them. But today, for sure, we spoke to Ntlanta Lux, and Ntlanta Lux um, says to us, this is very difficult, of course, for the youth, and therefore they would like answers. But for now, they are delivering CVs. Let's listen in. Here to remind South Africa what's happening here is happening in other malls across the country. We are here to remind South Africans owning businesses, employing foreigners, be it illegal or legal. And I must start saying that young South Africans don't have a problem with foreigners. They are our brothers and sisters, in particular those that are African. We love them with everything, but sisterhood and brotherhood is not going to be an excuse to leave South Africans behind in their own country. Yes. So the message is simple. 
the young people have brought their CVs, they showed well. The, these CVs are going to be shared with the business owners here at Sentin City in the mall. In particular, the restaurant space and the retail space. Because the restaurant sp space and the retail space are low-skill jobs. It's, you're, not, you're not required to build a, 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 a helicopter. It's a low-skill job. It's the work. The economy of South Africa is not stable. Please, my brother and sister, before you think that you want to come to South Africa, please think twice. If you want to come to South Africa to come to school, you are welcome. But if you want to come to South Africa to come for work or business, or to invest in South Africa. Think twice. I believe if you want to know much about what is going in South Africa, you can try to subscribe to this channel because I will still keep on be talking about what is going on in South Africa. Uh, my brother, my sister, my mom, my dad, please, if you have it in mind to come to South Africa, please think twice before you come to South Africa. Because there's a lot of people in South Africa, they are looking for escape routes. Try to study or to know much about South Africa before you can conclude that you want to come to South Africa. This is my advice to you, my brother and my sisters. Please, thank you very much for watching this channel. Thank you very much for watching FM TV. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to press that red button down below. Thank you very much. See you some other time. Watch out for my next episode that is coming very soon. Thank you.